All right, so I'm going to be showing you how to pick a lock. This is a deadbolt. And we're gonna pick it with two paper clips shown here. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna shape your first paper clip kind of like a hook. And uh, that's, you don't have to make it very complicated. Just pull out one little end and uh, that's all you need. With the other paper clip, we're going to uh, just make a long, ledge there just straighten it out like that okay so what you're first gonna do is stick the hook into the bottom of the keyhole and you're gonna use this to pull the uh, keyhole one way or another as if you were turning it with a key and you're going to apply pressure constantly while you pick the lock I'm gonna pull it to the left I just uh, you don't always gonna know which way the lock's gonna go so just guess and then use the long straight paper clip to hit the tumblers. And how you're going to do that is you're going to go all the way to the back of the lock, pick all the way up, and you'll, you'll feel it pick up all the tumblers, and you're going to slide it out while applying pressure up on the tumblers. So you're going to, you're going to rake through with the tumblers, and you're going to hear them. Uh, you'll hear the noise later. You're going to hear them slide up and then slide back down. While you do this, you're going to constantly pull on the bottom paper clip as if you were turning it with a key. That's essential. So as you saw there, I went in, up, and then slid the paper clip back out, and there you go. But that is the wrong way. And when it's going the wrong way, it'll just stop. And so what you need to do is, after making sure that's definitely the wrong way, it's definitely not going to go, you're going to pull the lock back to its starting position and start back all over again. And now I'm going to pull it that way so the keyhole turns counterclockwise because that's the way the lock is made to turn. And you should do the same thing. You go in, up, and come back out. You can listen to the noise it makes uh, right about now. You'll know when the lock has been uh, open when the pressure you apply gives way and the keyhole just turns. And you can just turn it right back. And there you go.